What's going on, people? My name's Timmy Joe, making videos about computers all up on the internet. Uh, today on the program, it's that time of year again. Cyber Monday, Black Friday in Canada, we have this thing called Boxing Day, where you're supposed to box up all your Christmas stuff, but really you just go to the mall and buy cheap stuff. Well, it's that time of year where you walk into a retailer, Walmart, you know, Best Buy, and you see beautiful televisions like this for like peanuts, for nothing. And they've gotten so good. This is a Hisense television. Thank Hisense for sending it over, for sponsoring this little peek into should you use a 4K 55 inch television like this, it's their H8 series of TV, as a gaming monitor, instead of going and buying a 27 inch, you know, purpose built gaming monitor, or maybe just a purpose built computer monitor. I mean, if you're a console player, this is what you'd be buying anyways, right? But computer, you know, guys, they're always kind of geared towards a TV like this is gonna be have too much input lag. It's not gonna be good. It's gonna bad refresh rate and stuff like that. But I think that the technology is caught up and I think this might be a pretty viable option considering, you know, if you look at the pricing, you're gonna get a lot more bang for your buck buying a television. This is an Android TV. It's their H8 series, H8809 uh, series of television, 55 inches, ULED. It's got adjustable feet, but more importantly, it's got Android on it, so you can like literally load Android games on it and pair a little you know controller here and play games right on the TV without a computer. But if you have a computer and you're looking for a good gaming monitor, this just might be the perfect solution. I mean, I'm playing some Counter-Strike right here. Let's go ahead and we'll grab a ball pop and we'll go and see if we can't make some kills. So uh, Hisense sent this over. It's their 50th anniversary and they're looking to do some promo on some of their televisions, especially time of year, it's, it's perfect. You can get this television for, you know, pretty inexpensive, under $500 US and, you know, available in Canada for around 500 US. And you know what, you probably even get better deals if you go and uh, check out around certain times a year like right now like you know cyber monday and all that stuff but is it a good idea to use it as a gaming monitor well let's see we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wait for this counter terrorist to get around me and oh the flames are gone the flames are i don't have any sound but oh i just headshotted him so yes i headshotted a man in counter strike we're gonna play some first person shooters we're gonna play some well, I died there, but we're gonna play some racing games. We're gonna do all kinds of fun stuff, playing video games on this 55 inch Hisense TV today. And we'll answer that question. Should you use a cheap, awesome 55 inch 4K TV as a gaming monitor here in 2019? And I think we're gonna find out that, yes, it's certainly a good prospect. So hold on to your horses. Let's play some games. Woo. Oh yeah.
right, so I've used this television for PC gaming as a monitor for about five days now, exactly as you see it here. Sitting like two feet from the screen, immersing myself in this beautiful 4K panel and playing some video games. And it's changed my mind on where TV technology is at, especially in the low end uh, right now here in 2019. The last TV I bought was a Samsung 60 inch TV. I think I paid $2,100 for it back in 2013. And uh, this TV has made me want to replace it. Anytime I ever, like I always have a computer hooked up to my main TV, big 60 inch 1080p panel. I've played first person shooters online on that TV before and always felt that the input lag was just atrocious and it was like not really worth doing if you're playing Tomb Raider or something like that sure but if you're playing Apex Legends and you need that lightning quick response time that was not a way to do it TV technology has changed and especially with Hisense here Android TV ULED you know HDR 10 all the bells and whistles it's really really good works with Amazon Alexa and uh, of course the Google Assistant it's an Android TV so we'll see we run some games for natively an Android on this TV as well but as far as the input latency it's pretty low it's gotten down pretty good so uh, I actually have no way of testing this input latency and I'm not gonna pretend like I'm some sort of expert but the feeling that I got with this was that it was pretty negligible I mean I played counter-strike sitting here with my gun the size that it would be in my hand sticking out there as if I was in the TV you know playing in real life and it was very, very serviceable, and there wasn't a lot of ghosting, and there wasn't a lot of issues. I can't speak for every cheap TV you're gonna go buy these days, but as far as spending a couple hundred bucks on a 55 inch, you're like, whatever, this is like three to $500 in the US, somewhere around 550-ish in, in Canada, and there's a 65 inch version too. I'll put some links to some Hisense TVs you know, that I would recommend in the, the doobly-doo, because I would definitely recommend, this TV has completely changed my mind on it, but um, it, it was really, Really good for playing those first person shooters as good as could be expected now I put my Viotech 144 Hertz gaming monitor up here beside this and I put them uh, you know I cloned the displays and then I put a timer up there I wanted to see what the difference in response time was between the two monitors okay so this doesn't have to do with input lag because there's going to be some amount of input lag on both televisions but as far as them showing the same images well you see here they're about 30 milliseconds off the uh, television being 30 milliseconds slower that is not that bad they say good response time is five milliseconds and uh, you know adding 30 milliseconds to it sounds like a lot but it's not terrible I'm sure that older TV generations in this got were, were, were much much worse but we're within a second you know or like third of a second really between a high-level gaming monitor and this panel that really surprised me now I went in the settings and I turned off like there's a game mode here I'll, I'll just show you there is a game mode if you go into picture it's in game mode and then if you go into advanced settings you'd want to make sure that clear motion or motion clearness is off because that's the televisions like uh, artificial 144 or 244 Hertz used for smoothing movies out that will not help you in gaming so make sure that that is off but you get that all off and just kind of get the raw input on this and it looks just amazing this this really 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 looks good and uh, you know with a lot of esports titles you could drive a 4k monitor with counter-strike or you know some other games like that some lower end games I was using a 9700k in this Corsair system here they're letting me borrow with a 2070 super 16 gigs of RAM and it was getting away with playing most of those games at 4K at even highest settings. The car game, like the Need for Speed, Heat, I had to turn down just a bit. But it was a pretty, pretty good experience. And, uh, you know, that, that's where we're getting that. We're, we're pretty close. I wish 4K gaming monitors were kind of becoming the norm. But they aren't. Because the technology, the, 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 some things haven't caught up there. But as far as televisions are concerned... They're everywhere right now, 4K, and it is totally worth switching if your TV is a few years old because things have really changed. There's some features there. But as far as using it as a gaming monitor, I was extremely impressed with this thing, and it worked very, very well. So thanks to Hisense for sending it out, uh, and uh, this is the uh, 55H8809. It's not available anywhere online right now but there is a 65 inch version I might be able to find a link to uh, which would be the same TV it's got 
I like that 240 hertz smoothing. It's got uh, HDR10 and uh, Dolby Vision compatible. It's got Google Assistant. It's got Bluetooth built in. I mean, I could pair this thing here with it. And then here, if I show you, go into the Android menu for this. Uh, the, this kind of gets limited to what you can load from the App Store on the television, but if you download this side load launcher, which I did, I was able to install some pretty interesting games off of a USB stick onto the Android television system here, like Minecraft and uh, Asphalt 8 in there. So I could play, like here's me playing Asphalt 8. It's not running the greatest because the processor driving this thing is meant to, you know, display Netflix and stuff. It's not meant for gaming, but heck, I played Minecraft on this. And then, and then what's great about this is if I want to check out the app for my security system at home here, there's an Android app for that. So I don't need to have a computer hooked up to the TV to go and check out my security feeds. S cool stuff like that. You know, there's a million Android apps and you can probably figure out a way to get most of them on here. Not that the processing power will be all that great. As far as this thing, as a media consumption device, is this thing, you know, it's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, and it completely changed my mind on televisions and I'm gonna be putting this TV uh, in place of my 60 inch downstairs just because the picture on it is so much better. And when you load up, you know, Planet Earth on the, uh, you know, the, the, the Netflix app and you watch it, it just looks so good. Here, we'll do something like that. Like, check this out. It looks so awesome. You can see all the detail in this sea of ice. And I mean, I'm this close to the television and I can barely see any pixels. It's, it's pretty awesome. So really as a media you know, experience, this high sense television is like super, super awesome. But as far as it being a gaming monitor for your computer, it can get the job done, surprisingly. I can see all the little fur hanging off this beautiful giant polar bear here. It's pretty cool stuff. So I'm not watch Jimmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. I want to thank Hisense for sending out this beautiful television. And uh, it's the 55H8809 and there's a 65 inch equivalent. I'll put some links in the description to some Amazon affiliate pages for Hisense TVs that I recommend as well as the product page for this specific TV. It blew me out of the water with this feature set and everything. You know, they wanted me to review the you know thing as a television. That's not what I do. But as far as playing games on it, it's much better than a television from just a few years ago as far as input latency and stuff like that. And having a 4K display this far away and being immersed almost like VR in the world was just a heck of a lot of fun. And this giant TV certainly was serviceable as a computer monitor. So thanks to Hisense celebrating 50 years globally, Hisense Canada for sending that out. And uh, links is always in the description. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, if you see a Hisense or you know, television out there these days, uh, you know, while you're uh, on Boxing Day, if that's a thing, or, you know, just during the holidays, televisions are pretty inexpensive out on retailers. It's totally worth considering one as a gaming monitor, whether it's a console that you're using or a PC. A PC can really do it well. Hook her up, be this close, and check out all the details that you're missing because when you're playing a first person shooter, you're gonna see that little dot a lot further away. Whether or not you're going to be able to actually shoot them, that's another thing. But I think this thing won't get in your way. So I watched Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. Thanks to Hisense for letting me do this. And uh, yeah, 55 inch gaming monitor. Thumbs up for me. It's not perfect, but it's certainly serviceable here in 2019.